up here, geared up again, heading back out on the scooter, on the Ultron Ultra scooter that is. As you can tell, the Dualtron is on the table in a partially disassembled state because I need to replace the tube. It has a 10 by two tube that has a puncture in it from a long screw that Cindy's got into the sidewall of the tire somehow. So I do have a tube ordered, hoping it shows up tomorrow. I'll get that repair completed. As far as the Ultra, uh, if you watched the video I posted yesterday, uh, it ended with me pushing the Ultra three quarters of a mile back to the house. And uh, the odd thing was before that happened, you know, I, I had been checking the battery indicator the entire ride and it was never going down, which I thought was odd. So it turned out that I was messing around with the various, there's P settings, which, which are configuration settings for uh, the scooter. And one of those is the voltage for the scooter. And you have, you have three settings that it can be set at, 36 volts, 48 volts, or 60 volts. Well, for some reason that was set to 36 volts. And because it was set to 36 volts, the battery indicator showed it was full. So once I switched it to 60 volts, it showed correct battery uh, life. So it's been on the charger all night. Uh, it's, I just took it off the charger. It's, it's a green. So now I'm going to get a better sense of what the real range is on this thing. Uh, I'm going to ride out to Ave Maria. All right, we're on the road. I'm in the number three speed, uh, but single motor. I almost forgot I have my uh, GPS with. So I want to, uh, record my uh, my distance and speed with that all right satellites acquired let us continue just for the heck of it I put it in, in uh, eco mode man does that ever limit your speed holy crap It's like, uh, it's like night and day. So the plan is to take this out to Alba Maria. About a 30 to 35 mile ride. See what kind of battery you have left afterwards. The Dualtron can do this no problem, so I would assume this could as well. I have to tell you, after taking apart the Dualtron uh, back tire, the way that they handle um, tire construction, or more specifically, the way they, they handle wheel construction with, the, with the, the scooter tires is awesome. It's so much easier to change a tube as compared to an EUC. Because you basically just take off a plate that makes the tire come off without effort you put the tube in, put that plate back on, and the plate is what actually seats the tire uh, back onto the wheel. It's, it's so easy. I'm really surprised that no EUC manufacturers have tried to duplicate that setup because it, it makes changing uh, tubes and tires uh, almost trivial. It's great. I've noticed with a full battery charge, which I've never ridden this thing with before, uh, it's substantially faster as you would imagine. I'm cruising 30, low 30s without trying single motor. Um, I had no idea what battery level I was at when I started that ride yesterday, but I, I bet I was at a third or less. So it should be a lot different experience this time. I have to admit yesterday after the ride, you know, pushing, pushing the Ultra home, I was feeling a little down in the dumps, you know, not knowing exactly what was going on. I'm glad that I, I uh, 
my guess was true, that it was just a setting that was incorrect. Of course, you would normally hope that that kind of stuff has been checked out before uh, a wheel is sent to a customer, but you know, like I said yesterday, um, I, I totally expected there to be some uh, some hiccups along the way. So that was a hiccup, but uh, the good news is it feels like it's uh, performing just fine right now. The one thing I uh, have not been able to get to work is cruise control. So even though there appears to be a setting for cruise control, it does not seem to be working for whatever reason. So I let Elvis know that. Uh, I don't know that he's going to have an answer for me, but like I said yesterday, it doesn't really bother me to hold the trigger. But it definitely would bother Cindy, so this is going to probably be a, a, a Sean-only scooter, I would believe, most of the time. I actually do like the way this fatter tire... Uh-oh. Uh, why am I hearing that noise again? Let's check. Let's do a battery check. Battery looks fine. Not sure what that resonating sound is when I uh, coast to a stop. Another thing to ask Elvis about. Battery level's good, shows fine. But what I was gonna say was, I do like this fat tire, actually. I like the way it feels. Uh, I, can, uh, I, I like the way it feels on the road a little bit more than the uh, Dualtron narrower tire feels. I don't like that mystery sound that comes from the back wheel, though. It could just be, um, the disc brake maybe is making some contact. I don't know, I'll, I'll have to look at it. That's, that's my first guess. nice to have a horn could come in handy in more ways than one I probably need to check the air pressure in the tires I've, I've been feeling that they might be pumped a little bit high because like you know little little road irregularities you can really feel it so I have a feeling that they might be inflated uh, a little bit to the high side, maybe to max PSI. Might let a few out. All right, so just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna try to do a dual motor high-speed launch and see, uh, see how that goes. You see the red button is depressed, that's dual. Yellow button is out, that means it is um, uh, turbo mode. So, let's see what happens. I'm a little nervous. Holy crap. That's insane. It was um, spinning both tires. Didn't tell. Wow. I wasn't I wasn't 100% full throttle off the gun, uh, but I, I quickly applied it once I got rolling. Jeez. Oh, whoa. Whew. I cannot think of many situations where you're going to need the power of dual motors in this thing. It's just. It's crazy. This thing pulls as hard with it, with just the back motor engaged as the uh, Dualtron 2 EX does with uh, both. Which I guess makes sense because the Dualtron 2 only has 800 watt motors and, and the motors on this are rated at 1600 watts. So they are double the strength. So I guess that would make sense. But um, it's still kind of crazy. Okay, it looks like, looks like I'm down. Okay, I've lost one one battery bar so far out of out of five, and I'm 
A little under nine miles. Well, no, actually, I'm, I'm just about nine miles in because I started this a little bit late, so. That's, uh, that's not bad. It's all right. At least it's actually reading accurate uh, battery level now. Makes me feel better. After what happened to Cindy, I'm trying to do my best with identifying debris in the uh, bike lane. But, I mean, there's no way you're gonna see a screw in the road, unfortunately. So, um, that's just part of uh, the risk that you're taking. But at least with a two-wheel device, you can pretty consistently roll to a safe stop. I don't think I mentioned this in my video yet. No, I didn't. Um, Normally, uh, with the normal EUC live stream show, it would be tonight. And I originally announced at the last stream it would be tonight. Uh, but when I made that announcement, I totally forgot that it was the Super Bowl tonight. So there will not be a, a uh, live stream tonight. Um, I'm rescheduling it for next Sunday, the 10th. So if you, if you had tonight circled on your calendar, erase it. Erase it and uh, put a circle around the 10th instead. This actually feels slightly better than the uh, Dultron to carve on. I don't know if it's the extra weight, the uh, fatter tire. It just, uh, it feels good. Just for the hell of it, I wanted to see I'm in uh, this is eco mode. It looks like eco mode uh, tops out at 15.5 miles an hour, which is uh, which is fine, but it feels super super slow when you're used to going the normal speed. Uh, vehicle in a uh, SUV with handicap stickers just beep at me for some reason. I guess he doesn't like the idea of uh, you know, me being on the same roadway as him. Hopefully I can catch up to him and uh, wish him a uh, pleasant day. I love people like that. Now entering downtown Ave Maria. Not gonna be really spending much time here, just kind of wanted to get here and get back since I'm still not 100% sure what sort of uh, range I'm gonna get out of this thing. So, almost halfway. Battery reading, three bars out of five. So hopefully that means I'm 60% or so, so I can get back. All right, just wanted to uh, say I got here. I'm not doing any sightseeing. I'm just heading back. Compass has my visit to church. I can feel the, um, the acceleration is, uh, is uh, 
less now that I'm at a lower battery level, but it's, it's still fine, but it's, it's definitely uh, uh, cut down somewhat. I can feel a noticeable difference. Now, just to be safe, I'm gonna to try to keep the speed, you know, more mid-20s instead of low 30s on the way back. Just to uh, make sure that I'm not, I'm not pushing it. Both literally and figuratively. It's weird, um... At this point, I've gone um, over 17 miles, and for whatever reason, I don't know why, but this foot position doesn't really cause me a lot of foot pain. My feet feel pretty good, even though they're just kind of stationary. But they don't—they don't feel bad at all. I'm kind of surprised. Bricks do not feel good. So bumpy. All right. Back on oil well for the push home. Feeling a headwind right now, which isn't great for mileage. Yeah, really bad headwind this direction. This is a uh, this is the time that I would be sitting on a seat and I could squat, <laughs> uh, but uh, not very comfortable. I'm keeping my speed down considerably more. Uh, partly because the headwind, partly because, uh, you know, after pushing it yesterday, <laughs> I don't want to repeat that, si uh, that situation. So I'm trying to uh, be as conservative on my battery usage as possible. So, you know, cruising 20, somewhere around there. All right, figured it'd be smart to do a battery check here. Let's see. 24 miles. Oh boy. We got one bar remaining. Yeah, I was afraid of that. The, uh, the headwind was very severe. And I have five or six miles to go yet. So, oh boy. We might have to just suffer through uh, eco mode to see if we can milk it home. Because I don't have a, uh, an easy uh, rescue vehicle available. Cindy's out shopping right now. So, um, yeah, I need to, <laughs> I need to get home under my own power if at all possible. I see the, um, traffic light for Everglades Boulevard. And once you hit that, it's, it's uh, almost exactly five miles to home. So this is going to be a slow five miles, but hopefully I can do it all uh, riding and not pushing. So I didn't really think about it that much. You know, the, this this uh, scooter is supposed to have a 23 amp hour battery, which is roughly 1400 watts if my uh, calculation conversion was right. And I thought to myself, well, heck, it has a bigger uh, battery than the Dualtron. I should get more range. But what I didn't consider is um, the the wattage rating on the motors is twice that of the Dualtron. So logic would, would be that it uses uh, electricity at a faster rate, which I didn't really think about. So yeah, mileage I don't, well, mileage definitely is not as good as what I'm getting with the Dualtron, for sure. So uh, yeah, a painful lesson, but uh, it makes sense now that I think about it. Cruising at uh, 13 miles an hour right now. Come on, baby. So basically, even in single motor mode, this thing is consuming power like the Dualtron does uh, using both motors. 
you know, which obviously significantly changes the uh, amount of mileage you're going to get. So, going to have to keep that in mind. With the speed I'm going, I figure I might as well get on the sidewalk. What the hell? Yeah, this is definitely not the range I was expecting. I am definitely disappointed in the range. Well, at least I don't have to worry about looking for uh, debris in the road when you're traveling at a high rate of speed. I get to uh, see the sights and smell the flowers. It is a beautiful day, so it's all good. I'm already running uh, ideas through my head what the uh, intro scene will be. I think probably a uh, contrast between my dual dual motor full power burnout <laughs> and then my uh, slightly faster than running speed return. The tale of two cities. So it seems that the Ultron will be in his current configuration will be a capable Dunkin Donuts ride. Uh, vehicle, but not much beyond that. I would not take it to Ave Maria again, for sure. Uh, that ride is best suited to the monster, I guess, or the Dualtron. 18L. I, I think the 18L would probably be able to get to Ave Maria and back. I don't know that I have I done that. I did it on the 18XL. I don't know. I'm not sure if I've done that on the 18L yet. Maybe that'll be my next uh, challenge. All right, so we have about maybe three miles to go. I'm getting worried because my speed is dropping. I was holding close to 13. Now I'm holding low 12s. Oh, boy. It just about kicked, I think. It was uh, barely cruising 10 miles an hour let's see how Cindy's doing on her shopping trip it still shows one bar I think I don't think I'm gonna make it all the way about three miles to go and I'm down to 10 miles an hour It's not totally dead yet, but I'm thinking maybe if I just take a little break and walk it, maybe I can regen a little bit. I don't know. Probably not. But we'll walk it. What the heck? So, I'm a little over 28 miles right now. So that was... Um, didn't even get the 30. I was hoping I could at least get the 30, but it uh, doesn't look that way. And to be fair, I mean, if I anticipated that battery usage was going to be tight, I did not anticipate that. I, th I thought I'd be fine. I could have ridden a lot more conservatively. You know, the, almost the entire way out there, I was in the going low 30s. You know, not having any battery anxiety. So. If I would have kept that speed down, I probably could have done a lot better uh, mileage-wise, but uh, live and learn. Hey, at least I didn't get a flat tire, right? And uh, getting some additional exercise. It's good. Can uh, burn off some calories to make up for the, uh, the gluttony that normally accompanies the Super Bowl. One of, the th one of the things Cindy's out buying for me right now is uh, the ingredients to make pigs in a blanket. One of my favorite football food items, which we don't hardly ever have, but yeah. So, it's fine. I need to find out what the capabilities of 
uh, the Ultron R, now I have a much clearer idea. So you can see I'm at the track. I, uh, I ran here on Friday. I've been spotty with my running lately, but um, I did run Friday. Didn't feel great as always. My, my knee actually kind of hurts today for whatever reason. A little gimpy. But I am still trying to run. Just got to do it. So uh, what I'm, I'm going to walk this up to the development here and then see if I have any juice at all whatsoever to at least propel me faster than walking speed and uh, maybe get back on it. We'll, we'll see. One of the uh, nice features on the Dualtron controller is uh, there's a setting for uh, you know, regenning to um, basically as soon as you let off the throttle the, the motors kick in and it starts to regenerate some power. Um, I have not found that setting yet uh, on this controller. I don't know that it exists or not, but it is definitely a nice thing. But I don't know how much it would help me in a ride like that because, you know, it's, it's basically just a, a big, long, straight shot. So it's not like you're really off the throttle hardly at all to uh, regen power, but I don't know. I'm just talking to myself at this point. I still got power to the LCD, so it can't be totally dead. Look on the bright side. But you know what's sounding awfully good when I get home? I think it's going to be time to crack a Zima. I have not had one in a little while. So, uh, yeah. It's feeling like a Zima kind of day. A little hill. A very little hill. We'll uh, coast down this and see if we have any juice at all to keep moving. For the record, I'm not feeling very hopeful. Well, we are moving. It was short-lived. <laughs> it might have went a couple hundred yards. Slowed down to walking speed. Oh well. All right, well, I don't think I'm gonna have the need for any um, high-speed crash gear for, for the rest of the ride. It's, and it's a little uncomfortable to push it while you're uh, wearing this, so. Get rid of those wrist guards. Um, elbow pads don't feel too good either, but they're kind of big to hang somewhere. So we'll deal with it for now. I just talked to Cindy. She's she's leaving the store now. But it'll probably be a good 20 minutes until she's where I'm at. So um, I don't know that I can totally make it home by then, but uh, should be close in theory. All right, wrist guards and knee guards off. Feels a little bit better, but it's hot. It's, it's hot out today. It's in the low 80s, so I'm feeling a little, uh, a little warm. And to all those people who always like to make comments, hey, that's cheating. You don't get any exercise when you're riding an electric vehicle. Well, here you go. Here's one situation that you do. Not that I would recommend it. Plus, I learned something new today. I realized that my average walking pace pushing an 80-pound scooter is about 7 kilometers an hour. So that's always good to know. The further I push this thing, the more I'm realizing that not only is my right knee hurting, but also my uh, right IT band is painful. Old man problems. I'm at the top of another hill. Let's see, maybe we can get another 50 yards out of it. Let's see. Oh yeah. Snapping my neck back. Go baby, go. And even downhill, it's got nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Yeah, no point. <sighs> okay, um, mile and a half to go. At least Cindy should, I'm back on a Mockley Road, so at least Cindy should see me. She has to come this way, so. 
adventure continues. I just turned it off at this point. It feels slightly easier to push with it turned off. Not a lot. I was kind of wondering if someone with a pickup truck might stop and say, hey, because yeah, obviously I'm having some issues. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I was, if I was, well, probably I would. If I saw someone pushing an electric scooter and I had my truck, I would probably stop and offer to give them a ride. Uh, just because I, I could sympathize, I guess. But uh, if I didn't have that background, I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't, I don't know. All I know is uh, I still got a mile or so to go, a little bit more. Cindy's here. Hey, you want to ride? Yeah. All right, so Cindy pulled up in the nick of time. I'm quite overheated. So I've got the uh, Ultron in the back and we are headed for home. From home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and literally almost a mile from home at this point. But I already had walked probably two miles. Oh my gosh. Close to that. Me. What the heck? Our weekend is wonderful. Yeah. Crap. Yeah, at least I didn't get a flat. Alright, so I'm back home. We pooped. Um, all right, so obviously that was a disappointing performance for range. Um, like I said, partially it's my fault because I didn't really give a, a solid consideration to the, the numbers. Let me get this thing off, man. Squeeze it on my chest. All hot and bothered. Didn't give real consideration when you run the numbers. Even though this is supposed to, supposedly a 1400 watt hour battery in here, the Dualtron EX has a 1200 watt battery in it. That uses 800 watt motors and this uses, uh, the uh, Ultron uses uh, 1600 watt motors. So I can understand why it uses more power, I guess. It gets less range than the Dualtron. Uh, significantly less range, actually. That being said, if I knew I was gonna have a potential battery issue, issue I could have ridden less aggressively which would help me somewhat I still don't know that I'd be able to do the whole trip though so like I said it's probably a Dunkin Donuts ride um, capacity vehicle and not much beyond that so um, I mean the big question is going to be so what do you think overall of the Ultron um, and when you you have to factor in cost obviously you know because it costs less than a Dualtron EX has more power, has less range. Power and range are a big thing with any personal electric vehicle. Those are two of the mainstays. Uh, and then you, you throw in some of the, the oddball things like you know, not being able to set cruise control, you know, not having a manual. And then um, I've had to kind of figure out how things work through my own uh, investigations. You know, it is kind of a turn off that you don't really have any guidance whatsoever. You just got a box with a scooter in it, nothing, nothing else. So yeah, that's that's um, that's that's is a negative in my standpoint. So I guess the question is, is is it worth the extra money to get something like this versus uh, you know the Ultron, which is like so many. If you go on Alibaba, you know there's so many uh, clone scooters that are built on that same general platform. And I guess the answer is it depends. It depends what's important to you. If you, if you don't need to, if you don't need to go long range, if you don't need to go 30 miles. 30 plus miles. Let's see if you're with water. What a weekend, huh? Yeah. Go Rams! If you don't need to go 30 miles plus, and you want to have fun throwing that thing in dual motor mode and just absolutely tearing things up, because it, I mean, when, when you're on a fresh battery and you have both motors turned on and that thing, it is a beast, without a doubt. It is a beast, but it's not going to be a beast for 30 miles. That's for damn sure. So anyways, I'm going to keep testing it from, from uh, here on out. It, like I said, it will, it will be primarily my, my vehicle to ride. And we'll see how it holds up um, longevity-wise. Hopefully it's fine. Um, that noise, that high-pitched noise I was hearing, I've determined that it, I think it's just it's the back brake. 
Um, it, it's, it's making some light contact to the uh, the disc because when I squeeze when I squeeze the brake, the noise goes away. So I assume it's just that's all that noise was. So um, I mean, it did it did ride fine? Did perform fine? Just did not perform as long as I thought it was going to perform. So yeah, exciting video. So if you found this video interesting, I'm sure it's going to be long. Uh, hopefully it's entertaining. But if you found it interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. And uh, I am working on a video regarding replacement of the uh, of the two on the Dualtron. Hopefully I'll do that earlier this week, but uh, that's all i got for you for now. Look forward to enjoying the Super Bowl tonight, pulling for the Rams, and uh, that's all i got. Until next time, Duff me now. Cindy, uh -huh. oh. did you get the tire patch kit? Yeah, I put it in my purse. I was missing. It's just that tiny little patch. Yeah. Oh, you ordered it already? From Amazon. Yeah. Oh, why didn't you have me look for it? So I could do it quicker.